like I've got more Wish stuff. So I tried finding some more interesting um, Wish art supplies. Let's start with this little package. Ooh. So I saw these, they were very cute little no face pens, but this one's so scary. <laughs> All of them were so cute and this one is just so like freaky. Oh, it's the funnest tip pen ever though. Oh yeah, sweet. So these are like little stamp highlighters and uh, I got a whole nice variety of them. On to the next one. This one looked really interesting. It looks like it's for like maybe exam taking, you know, have those bubble sheets to fill out. It's a 2B pencil, so it should be pretty soft. This one's called uh, Office Electronics, and I actually have no clue what it is. Okay, so this is not an electronic. <laughs> um, it's like, you know those like whiteout pens? It's kind of like that, except it has cute little like coffee designs on it. And I freaking love the designs it showed. It's like, I work at Starbucks and it's like knockoff Starbucks logo. I was like, that's so cute. And it has like coffee beans and cups and stuff. This next one's a pretty big one and I have no clue what it's used for, but it looked really interesting. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. Um, it's like some kind of ruler tool to like help you make angles and shapes and stuff. The description of this item is man bags school supplies. I saw these and they were just way too cute and I was like oh my gosh I need them. They are pencil pouches and oh my gosh they're so cute they're like actually super good quality i think they're two bucks each or so oh <laughs> oh my gosh look at the this okay so it says nutritional contents lovely cute sweet pretty fun husbandness <laughs> ugly uh prescally and convenient facker so it says sweet de sugary Delicious. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, sweetest caramel milk. Excellent choice. Original sugar balls. 100% lots of sugar. <laughs> Good taste. Organic milk. re milk. As fresh as it gets farm produced. <laughs> Organic milk. Chocolate milk. Strawberry milk. Buttermilk. I think we're gonna have to draw strawberry. Oh, and by the way, I'll have links for these in my description. Um, sometimes these art supplies come and go, so the links might not still lead to them, but if they do, then they'll be there for you. And now last, but certainly not least, this is the one that made me want to do a part two. This is probably the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Laser scissors. <laughs> Oh man, I don't think these are going to work at all, but they were so ridiculous. I spent like $12 on them. <laughs> all right, let's give these things a try. I'm going to be designing a character uh, off of this typo, which says Straw Betty Milk. So we'll make a character named Straw Betty. And first we need to cut this Bristol board into a workable size. So I'm gonna try out the laser scissors. Whoa, oh, this is so neat. It's like future scissors, future technology. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> laser keeps moving around, so it's kind of difficult, but I, I still have hope for this. Uh, okay, so that's definitely not the most straight line ever, but okay, so we have our paper to use. Now I'm gonna try doing like a a border around. This character was really fun to design. Um, being a strawberry girl, I wanted to make her head a strawberry shape, and so I decided to make her wearing some kind of strawberry shaped hat. Um, I tried putting her in a pose that was kind of like an advertisement, I suppose. Coloring with these highlighters was very difficult because they're actually stamps, so the shapes made it difficult to really get in those tight areas, but 
the colors are super vibrant and very bright and so that was kind of neat um doing the little stamps on her uh tights was cute i tried shading her with a per the purple marker and it it went all right until i did like the shadow on the ground and on her arms and then i couldn't really take it back so that was kind of disappointing um later i go back in and i add some more like I add some strawberry seeds and more details to her eyes, but yeah, she was pretty fun to draw. Um, so this is what I managed to draw. Um, using stamp highlighters to color is probably the worst idea I've ever had. Um, <laughs> I really like her design. I'm kind of sad how weird it turned out, how bright, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try drawing her again. She's super cute. And I added some seeds and uh, added some pupils on her, and I think she looks a little bit better. These laser scissors, they were just as ridiculous as I thought they'd be. They're kind of crazy and, you know, just be like, oh, hey, I've got laser scissors. That's kind of funny to say. <laughs> but um, when your hand moves, the laser moves, and it's difficult to keep it lined up with the mark on the other side of the paper. It's much faster to just use the ruler and draw a line and then cut on the line. <laughs> this thing, I feel like it can be useful in certain situations. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a thing that makes squares and shapes. Surprisingly, I actually like this pencil a lot more than I thought I would. It does provide some nice like line variation. And this fine liner is pretty good. Sometimes it'll skip but it's super thin and uh, that's what I like about it. These little stamp markers are pretty cute. They're kind of difficult to um, use. You kind of have to like rotate them around when you're stamping. This little stampy tool is super cute and I think it'd be good for like journaling and things like that. These two pencil cases are super cute and I'm sure I'm gonna use them in the future. They're really nice quality too. And I just wanna thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.